It's been more than two weeks since Hilbert Walker III was gunned down while he was working at Mandina's restaurant. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Tonight, Walker's loved ones gathered to celebrate his life. Eleanor Tabone was at a balloon release held tonight in his honor. He was a little bitty kid with a big, big heart. Friends and family of Hilbert Walker III gathered at Harrell Playground to remember the 23-year-old. We're a family. Harrell is a family. His coaches remember the child and football player he was. He had the leadership ability as he became that teenager. We saw it in you. Very respectable. He would never walk by you without saying, what's up, coach? Uh, how you doing? Uh, is there anything you need us to do? Coach Sterling Jones remembering the seven-year-old football player he coached. I saw it within the first couple of weeks at being at the park. And good kid growing up, had good parental support. Hilbert was shot and killed while serving tables at Mandina's, where he worked. The shooter, Chiron Fazand, has been arrested and booked with second-degree murder, attempted second-degree murder and aggravated battery. Investigators say this was a targeted shooting, but have not released a motive as of yet. There's another young African-American taken away from the community. He was doing great things. His former coaches say they're tired of losing children in their community to gun violence. I'm tired of it. It's sickening and I'm tired. We have to be as a community be able to take kids in and lead kids by example. God bless his soul. Hilbert's loved ones keeping him in their hearts as blue and gold balloons filled the sky. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. A woman was also hurt in that shooting. Police say a stray bullet went through the window and hit her as she ate inside. Well,